Hey guys, happy Saturday. Thanks for checking out Truly Divine's channel. If this is your first time checking out my channel, what's up? How are you? My name's Amy. So this is your um, Saturday reading for April the 14th. So it's a pick me card. Um, some things will resonate, some things won't. Um, so just take whatever resonates with you and what doesn't. Carry on. Um, so this... Card number one, card number two, and card number three. So let's get started. So think of whatever question you guys want to think of, um, scenario, and then you can even choose a question for every pile. Um, choice is yours. So for those that picked, um, like, section number one, card number one, um, it says you're ready. So I don't know yet what this is about, but um, whatever your question was, whatever your scenario, scenario is, um, angels want you to know that you're ready to take this next step. You're ready to start this new journey. Um, you're just ready, right? You're ready. So those who picked card number two says, so in the near future. So it's not a no. It's just not, right now is not the right time. Um, but don't lose hope. It's just right now where you are, there's some lessons you still need to learn. There's some obstacles you still need to face. So keep that in mind, um, that it's not a no, but it's not a yes. And it's keeping the faith that um, what's meant for you will be for you and what's not will not be. Okay, card number three is a firm no. <laughs> so, whatever your, I guess it's not really a firm no, it's just a no. So, maybe if this is a relationship question in which we will get into it more deeper, um, it's not the right timing. It's not the right timing to change a job. It's not the right timing for a relationship. It's just not the right time. So, I'll take a breath for a second. Oh. All right, so card number one, people, you're ready. Let's find out what's going on. So we've got the princess of swords. We've got the lovers. So this is definitely a relationship. Um, we've got the star. And we got eight of cups. So... We've got, with the cups energy, we have, this consists of water. No, yeah, water. So Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Um, swords is air, so Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. That's the energy coming through at the moment. Um, what do I feel? I feel like, okay, so I feel like with the you're ready card, with the angel saying you're ready, this is definitely a step in a new journey towards a relationship. With the eight of cups here, this symbolizes you turning your back to the past. You turning to the back to those things that you've been trying to figure out. So finally, it's like a light bulb going off. It's, it's reality that you you realize you you can't live in the past anymore and this is your chance to run towards something better and bigger this is your opportunity to um move on to a, that new relationship you know maybe this you've been fighting the battle you've been fighting the fears you've been fighting um that energy of is is it the right person is it the right time and I think you've been all up in your head about it. And now it's it's come to that point where you've you realized, you know, wait, what am I doing? I am ready for this. And I think that's why the angels have that card here for you guys today, because you are ready. You're ready to move forward. You're ready for this new beginning. You're ready for this new uh, relationship to come through. <sighs> 
You're you're moving onward. You're not looking in the past anymore. <clears throat> You you want to seek more. You want to see what else is out there. You're n you're not living in the past anymore. You're moving towards something brighter, something better, which is which is a great thing. I think this is a really great thing for you guys. I think that's why the Princess of Swords is here too. That that's um, a new beginning, I think. Yeah, this is, sorry guys, I just, so many different energies that it's, I, I can feel it in my body. Um, this is a represent, so the Princess of Swords is a representation of um, not facing the battle anymore. It's, it's moving towards something better. It's <clears throat> finally getting to that point where you realize what I just went through was a lesson. Um, you, you've, you've done the battle. You've, you've faced those fears. You've, it's like a new, it's like a new person. It's a new beginning, a new feeling. Um, you're just not afraid anymore. That's what I feel like. I feel like you're, you're not afraid anymore. You're you're seeking. You're seeking something, um, and you're ready. You're ready for this new love. You're ready for this new opportunity. That's why the star card is here. This is a new beginning. This is, sorry, my cards are really detailed. I didn't realize how detailed they were. Um, this is having that hope. Um, healing. This is hope for the future. This is knowing that, you know, better times are ahead and the past is in the past. Like I was saying with the eight of cups, this is coming to that realization that you made it. You know, this is, this is that feeling like, oh my God, I've made it. I've, I've come to the end. I'm ready for this. I've manifested. I've, I've taken that self love and that self improvement and I've worked on me and I've done everything I needed to get or done everything I needed to do. And now I'm at that point where this is that time. This is that celebration. This is that, you know, that time to find love again. This person is my soulmate. This is my divine masculine. This is my divine feminine. This is my twin. This is that's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling like this is that. Because that's why the lover's card is here too, guys. <clears throat> this is about choices. You know, this is about love. This is about trust. This is about you finally being at that that point in your life where this is it this is the big outcome this is what you guys have been manifesting for this is what you guys have been waiting for this is intense this is like sexual attraction this is like connection this is like going all for it this is like i can't sleep reach for the stars i don't know i don't know what that saying is that ball game saying where it's like reach for the stars. I saw it on a movie once, but I don't know the whole thing. But it's coming. That's what I'm getting. I'm, I'm like, <clears throat> it's that happy dance feeling. Like, 
you can breathe again. You don't have to fight. You don't have to worry. You don't have to be afraid. This is it. This is the person that you're supposed to be with. All signs have led to this. All your lessons have led to this. Wow, oh, guys. That was crazy intense. All right. So I'm going to read the, the spirit card from you guys. Um, I was going to wait till the last, till I've done all of them, but I, I have a, a calling to do it um, for you guys now. So spirit wants you to know this. Dearest you, there is only one you and you have a unique path and a special purpose. You're supposed to have specific experiences in this world and meet certain people. But then it is up to you to know how you live, how awake you choose to be, and how willing you are to grow and strip away what's false. Don't compare yourself to others. It's easy to think a person is happier just because their outside looks good, according to society's standards. But you can't know anyone's internal experience. Compare yourself only to your past self. See how far you've come. Don't be distracted by what others are doing or accomplishing. Stay focused on what inspires you. That's how you get successful and find happiness. Want what you have now, not what someone else has. We love you immensely. We love you immensely and know your journey ahead is sparkling with miracles and wonderful things. Trust. Loving you forever and ever. That's beautiful. <clears throat> I feel like I just like want to celebrate with you guys. Like that's just amazing. It's an amazing feeling for me to feel that strong and have energy and connection with someone um, that I don't know if it's going to happen this weekend, this week, sometime in April. I don't know, but your soulmate is here. You've met them. You know them. You've been around them. This could be your twin. I don't know. Something exciting is happening for you, for those that picked card number one. So just breathe with me. And exhale and know that it's coming for you. And I'm so happy that it's here. And I'm so happy that you guys are finally letting go of the past because that's what you need to do. Know that I love you guys. Let me know in the comments how that resonates with you guys. But I've got to move on. <laughs> okay. Okay, so those that picked card number two... Whatever your question was, whatever your scenario was, it says it's in the near future. So again, remember that it's not a no, it's not a yes, it's just whatever it is, it's not ready for you yet. So, let's dig in. We've got the Prince of, or Prince of Pentacles, we've got King of Swords. Three of Cups. Ooh, we're celebrating something. And we've got the Sun. So, the energies that are coming through are Pentacles. So, that's Earth, uh, Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. Uh, we got Swords. So, we've got Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra. And we have Cups. So, we have Waters, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. So a lot of different energies coming in for those that picked um, card number two. Right off the hop, I feel like you guys have some celebration coming. You're celebrating something. So this could be a wedding. This could be... Um, there's abundance coming through. It's not necessarily a bad thing. Maybe there is another lesson you have to go through. Um... But as we're going through this journey, as we're going through this life cycle, celebrate what you have right now. Because you do have abundance coming through. You do have um, something, something else that has to come through for you. <clears throat> it's not a bad thing, though. Like, I don't think that... You guys need to, like, run away or any of that stuff. Um, the sun card brings about um, good health, good news, good relationships, good vibes. So 
it's coming. The sun is coming towards you, which is great. Um, it means that you guys have hope. You have a chance. Maybe you've been so up in your head about this person that you're not seeing all the other stuff around you that's trying to fall into place. Kind of take a step back today. Re-examine what it is you want. Re-examine what it is that you want to go after. And then kind of go after it. <clears throat> not everything has to be a battle. Not everything has to be um, a negative thing. Be careful, though. There is um, an air sign around you, if you're any of the other signs. Who is going to be really switched off? They're going to be really cold towards you. But I think this is a good thing. I think this is a lesson, like I said, you have to go through. So if this is a relationship that you want, um, you need to take your attention elsewhere. I just feel like, I, I feel like the relationship may not be happening for you right now because it's not in your cards. Um, your focus needs to be elsewhere. Um, Work-related, family-related, or you need to switch, I was going to say switch your partner, but that wouldn't really make a lot of sense. <clears throat> I just, I don't want you guys to stay in that energy of, because you're, this is going on to the single people, but I don't want you to feel like love's never going to happen for you because I feel like love will happen for you. It's just where you are in your journey, love is not the answer. A person is not, it's like you need to go out there and find yourself first. That's what I was trying to kind of bring up and bring out. That's what I'm getting a sense. I, I sense like you need to work on yourself. I don't know. What do you guys think? You know, is, is there a scenario that I just need you. And I think that's why the Prince of Pentacles is here. You know, it's, it's about taking that step back and reevaluating everything. Cause this is like a timeout card for me. This is about, you know, looking at something from a different perspective. And that's what I think you guys need to do. Those who picked card number two. You need to take a step back, look at something from a different direction. Look at yourself individually. Are you ready for, are you ready to give a part of yourself to someone else? Are you, are you ready emotionally? Are you ready physically? Have you done the work you needed to do? That's what I feel like, and that's what's coming through. I just feel like this sense of all of these things want to come f through for you. The abundance wants to come through. The celebration is around the corner. This new beginning is around the corner, but it's about taking that step back and looking at the bigger picture. So your spirit card says this. Okay. Dear you, there are times in life when taking a risk is better left for another day. Other times are perfect for taking that leap, no matter how dangerous it might seem. Well, hold on to your parachute strings for today. Today is leap time. Realize that no matter what, we will not let you fall down or fall, drown, get lost, or hurt yourself in any way on this one. Even if it may feel like you are in free fall, we are here for you. And you can't stop freaking out about getting hurt and relaxed into this transition to something new. 
All of the elements are in place and your soul is ready for a new experience. No matter what you're asking about, it's time to take the risk and do that things that scare you. No matter what happens, you will land softly. Right on target. Don't worry about the outcome. Spirit's got that covered. It's taking the leap itself. That's the point. We love you. Cur we love your encourage. Oh, what? We love your courage. Embrace it. I can't read today. I think that's really beautiful. And it's what I was saying. It's time to look at things from a different point of view and know that spirit has your back. Spirit is taking care of you. The universe is taking care of you. So you don't need to worry about the not having it now because it's coming, it's coming to you. But you just got to breathe. You have to have courage. You have to embrace what you're going through now. I hope that resonates with you guys. Let, hit me up in the comments. Let me know. But I'm moving on to number three. So those that picked card number three, your answer was no. So let's see. We've got the Seven of Swords. We've got the Strength card. We've got the Hermit. And we've got Wands. So we have Fire Energies here. Sagittarius, Leo, and... Um, Leo, yeah, Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries. We've got Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra. So those are the energies coming through for you guys. Right off the hop. Oh, 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 